In this video, we'll go over all of WoW news from the past week and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. The weekly event for this week is Legion Dungeon Bosses, which just gives extra loot when completing dungeons and has a quest for completing four mythics. Next week, though, is the best weekly event, so look forward to it. The world boss for this week is Wither Jim, which is worth doing on alts for the Arcana Crystal. Especially if you're still trying to get those last mage towers done before they go away forever. The Archaeology Bi-Weekly is for a really crappy 840 relic, so not worth doing unless you're just doing it for the achievement to do all the archaeology quests. Also, the Darkmoon Fair is in town this week, so get your rep slash XP buffs and the other toys and mounts exclusive to this once a month event. This week, there's also the Boat Bash Mini Holiday. Last year, you could build your own boat by doing a few quests, which allowed you to use it in any body of water for the event's duration, which is a lot more useful than the things you usually get from micro holidays. Today, a new comic was released. This time, it involved the reunion of the three Windrunner sisters. A few things to point out about the small comic. Verisa is still horrible, and tried to blame the attempted murder of Garrosh solely on Sylvanas. She also insinuated the Blood Elves could be redeemed, which Sylvanas laughed at and said, they don't need your redemption. Illyria hears constant voices telling her to kill everyone, and they freaked out when she meets Sylvanas and go crazy about how Sylvanas needs to be killed now as she is their greatest enemy. This is probably because undeads are very resistant to the void in Old God's control, and Arthas even built his citadel out of an old god's blood, which caused everything else it came into contact with to go insane. But they're not immune, mind you. Even some of the mindless ghouls in the Serenite Mines would start mumbling things about the old gods eventually. But they have a much higher resistance to it than everything else. Which hints strongly that Sylvanas is a nice counter to maybe an upcoming Void plotline? Also, Sylvanas had planned on killing her two sisters and bringing them back to serve her on death but then changed her mind at the last minute after Verisa apologized about lying and for being a coward when it came down to her side of the bargain. Which I can probably give a little bit of context for those of you who never read the War Crimes novel. Verisa contacted Sylvanas and asked for her help to kill Garrosh while he was still in prison. In exchange for her help, she was willing to move to Undercity with Sylvanas and be raised as an undead to work with her. Which might seem a little extreme, but that's just Farisa for you. So Sylvanas saw these as perfectly reasonable terms and agreed to help, and even thought it felt good to help out her family like old times. But at the last second, Verisa chickened out and told Anduin that Garrosh's food was poison. Because you see, there was another plotline in War Crimes where Garrosh refused to speak to anyone else while in prison except Anduin, and they would routinely have debates on their personal philosophies and ideas about the world as a whole. Mainly because Garrosh just wanted to mess with him, but during their next meeting, Anduin saved Garrosh's life and threw the poison food on the ground. Because of course he did. And then Verisa ran away and sent Sylvanas a letter basically saying, I changed my mind, which pissed off Sylvanas greatly. So after getting the much needed apology, Sylvanas changed her mind because she's still kind of a softy when it comes to her sisters. So final thoughts. I thought it was great, and addressed a few plot points that were left hanging. And I thought it was funny when both Illyria and Sylvanas called each other abominations, with Sylvanas rightly pointing out that at least she didn't choose her fate. In other news, Heroes of the Storm announced Urel as a new hero, and Alteric Valley as a new map. The map will have objectives similar to objectives in the WoW counterpart as well as needing to kill the enemy general in order to win, instead of killing the core tower. Just like how you would win in the real AV. Although, unlike in WoW, you can't just zerg to the enemy general and ignore towers for a quick win. Channel update. I was thinking of changing the intro to this series. Currently I say, in this video go over a while, news from the past week, and try to compress it into a bite-sized video. But, as one person likes to point out in all of the new ones that come out, it's not just news from the past week, it also does talk about news for the upcoming week. And I thought, you know, 
a minor thing, not really worth it. I do technically talk about stuff from the past week. And also weekly events that are going to come up. Uh, but this guy's very adamant. And he's been doing it for like months now. So I was thinking, you know what, I guess he does kind of have a point. What should I change it to? So I just get rid of the intro? I guess I'm just asking for your guys' opinion on it. Should I change the intro? If so, what should I change it to? Or should I just remove it? And with that, I'll see you all next week.